following rant will spoil plot twists from movies like Hancock and Planet of the Apes. Stop watching now if you don't want them ruined. I rented Hancock the other night, which turned out to be a pleasant surprise, even though some of the effects were a little weak. Going into the film, I knew it had some kind of twist, which I was looking forward to, because not only do I enjoy a good twist, but I was also intrigued that I've been able to avoid it this long. But when I picked up the Blu-ray at my local video store, I couldn't help but notice something on the cover that potentially clued me into exactly what it was. See that? Why, I bet she's another person with superpowers, just like Will Smith. Golly gee, I hope that's not the movie's big twist. Oh wow, it is! Thanks, cover art, for spoiling the movie for me! As a writer, I have a tremendous amount of respect for ideas. Therefore, it pisses me off to no end when some jackass marketing department pinheads take it upon themselves to decide that enough time has passed and everyone surely knows the plot twist by now, so who cares what they put on the cover? There will always be someone out there who doesn't know the twist in a movie. Why ruin things for them? Chances are they'll like the movie even more when it hasn't been spoiled for them. Okay, so here's the theatrical poster. It's fine. And here's the single-disc rated edition. It's fine, too. But then we get to the single-disc unrated edition. Totally different artwork, but understandable since you want to clearly distinguish it from the rated version. But still, it's fine. But then comes the two-disc unrated edition in the Blu-ray, and there it is. Totally unnecessary. And someone explained to me why buying the more expensive versions ruined the movie, while the more frugal shoppers out there get to be pleasantly surprised by the twist. I mean, it would be like Fox putting the Statue of Liberty on new cover art for a Planet of the Apes re-release. That would just be silly. <sighs> Idiots. And yeah, Will Smith by himself on the artwork just isn't bankable enough. Okay, sure, throw a chick on there too. No one will buy a movie with just Will Smith on the cover. No. No. <laughs>